tour of SMU campus would be complete without a stop at the sculpture called The Wave by Spanish artist Calatrava. And I've got three quick questions for you about The Wave. First one, is it straight or is it curved? Again, that's sort of a trick question because clearly it's made up of straight beams of metal. So in some sense, it's gotta be straight. On the other hand, it certainly undulates like a wave, so it's gotta be curved. How can something be both curved and straight at the same time? Well, actually, it turns out there's a lot of surfaces in three dimensions that uh, are curved but can still be made up out of straight lines, and this is one of them. Such surfaces are called ruled surfaces. And you can imagine we can lay a ruler along each of those beams. An interesting thing about surfaces that have those straight lines embedded in them is that they always have to have curves that go in two opposite directions. So if you look behind me, you'll see that there are the humps of the wave that open up downward, but also across the structure, you'll see a curve like this that opens up outward. Any shape that has straight lines in it, any surface that has straight lines in it, is going to have those two curves in opposite directions. And when a surface does, sometimes there can be very many straight lines in it. As this diagram of the wave from above shows, we get a straight line right down the axis of the surface, and of course a straight line across each one of these beams. So there's many, many straight lines here. Second question, is it symmetric? It sort of seems to repeat, and it kind of has that form. It's saying it should somehow be symmetric, but it's a little elusive. Uh, for example, if you look behind me, the right half isn't quite exactly the same as the left half, because where the right half goes up, the left half goes down. And if you looked on the side of the structure, you'd see sort of have that same situation where the left half goes up and the right half goes down. So is it symmetric or not? Well, it turns out this surface is a special kind of symmetry, which is if we did a mirror image, maybe right down the middle, and we turned it upside down. Or another way of looking at it is if we put a skewer right through the long axis and turned it 180 degrees, the sculpture would come back and exactly match itself. So it's got 180 or two-fold rotational symmetry. And the moral of that story is that sometimes symmetries can be hard to find in three dimensions, but keep looking because if your mind is telling you that they're there, they're probably there. Third question, how did Calatrava build this sculpture? By which I mean, there's all these metal beams behind me and they all seem to be balanced on that central axis. What keeps them in that wave pattern? Well, if you look closely behind me, you'll see that on the right hand side of every beam, there's a little support post, uh, kind of near the axis, but not right on the axis. And that support post is what sets the angle of each beam. How does it do that? Well, with similar triangles. So there's a proportion that's lurking here. If you look at the entire beam, and it's resting on the uh, axis right there, that's the pivot, there's uh, the height of this support right there. And if I look at this triangle right here, as compared to the triangle formed by the entire structure, you'll see that this angle here, or this height here, well, this angle here is the same in both triangles. So the little triangle is similar to the big triangle. So this height right here is proportional to this height right here. And so if you look at uh, each one of the supports over the course of the entire sculpture, you see that some supports are higher than others. Those are the ones that make the beams that are high on the right-hand side. And some beams are very low. Those are the ones that make the beams be low on, the, on that side. And you can even adjust the angle of each one of the beams by moving that support up and down. And in fact, as Calatrava design, designed it, there's a mechanism inside that allows each one of those supports to move up and down so the entire sculpture could undulate like a wave.